Do you buy vinyl? Hey, it's Tom Misha. I'm in Amoeba Record Store, and this is what's in my bag. You should come south of the river where the love is gold. Got um, Voodoo by D'Angelo. This is like what, probably one of my favorite albums ever. Untitled. How does it feel? It's like classic kind of neo soul slow jam. D'Angelo was like part of the Soul Aquarians, that sort of like neo soul movement in the 90s. The way they recorded the instruments and stuff, and the, the players who are involved are just like next level. And it's good because it's, it's all like live instrumentation, but you can play it in a DJ set and people dance. It's like breakup music, it's like dance music, it's like, it's just everything. Got um, Kei Trenada's 99% album. I got into Kei Trenada like only two years ago, but he's completely changed the way I produce. I think there's no one out there doing this kind of electronic music. He's like really influenced by a lot of disco and hip hop and stuff. And I think he's kind of pioneering that kind of fusion of, of the two sounds. If you play this out in a club, it just, people get down to it. The way he mixes his beats and stuff, like I really, I just kind of copy him. Do you know what I mean? I try and get my stuff to sound, my bass to like come through the mix like him. He's got me into making dance music as well. I was kind of making like R&B slow jams, like 90s hip hop, and now I just want to make people dance, and that's because of Kei Trinada. It's just banging. I think the artwork's sick as well. This is Change, and they're like a Italian disco. I think it's a single, and it's the it's a song called Heaven of My Life. Like the guitar and the bass double up on this like this crazy, crazy bass line. <laughs> I got into them through um, this DJ called Motor City Drum Ensemble. He plays a lot of like sort of early disco. I think a lot of it's from New York and stuff. I've just really got into disco recently. It's been like a whole new thing for me, especially because I'm writing stuff from my, from my band and it's like it's all live. And these these records were all like recorded live and stuff. Just going back to Cage and another thing. I want to make people dance, and this is like this is that vibe. I've got um, John Mayer Continuum. One day. Yeah, this is like the first record I heard of John Mayer and completely changed my musical career, I think. I started playing guitar, what, well, trying to play guitar like him. And that's where kind of everything changed for me there because I was just trying to sound like John Mayer. And like, I just, I just love his guitar playing. It's beautifully recorded, the whole album. And it's, um, I think it's very soulful. And that's what kind of grabbed me at first. It just does this thing guitar where he like sustains a note for ages, but it's just so beautiful the way he, he does it. Love John Mayer. This is um, a Bill Evans trio record, which is like from when he played live in Stockholm in 1965. It's like sampling gold. There's loads of stuff in here that I've tried to chop up and stuff in my early beats and stuff. It's got two of my favourite um, jazz standards in. It's got I Should Care and Nardis. It's just a beautiful, um, beautiful album. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today. Oh, thank you.